Uh, McHenry police have charged a woman with battery after a dispute over masks turned violent at a Home Depot this weekend. WGN's Megan Dwyer talked to the victim today and she has details. Megan, good evening. Good evening to both of you. After seeing this video, a lot of people are asking, why didn't the woman, the victim, just walk away? She said she couldn't. She was compelled to get involved because she thought the other woman was doing the wrong thing. You just threatened to f off on me during a global pandemic. Are you for real? On Friday afternoon at the Home Depot in McHenry, this woman stopped an employee to ask why more shoppers weren't being forced to wear their masks, except she took off her own mask to ask the question. She was doing exactly what she was complaining about. When she asked the woman to put her mask back on, Water says the woman in jean shorts threatened to cough and spit on her. I was looking around like, oh, okay. We're not going to do that. And um, it just kept going and going. What followed was this interaction captured on cell phone video. I swear to God, if you touch me again, I will knock you out. The women, both white, continue to argue while waiting for police to arrive. The entitlement is disgusting. Yes, I am entitled. I'm white. I'm a woman. What does you being white have to do with you being able to get your way? Because I'm a white woman. That's what happens. You're a disgusting, racist piece of trash. Literally. I believe in white power. White power? Yeah. You believe in white power. That's just like hate coming out. It was a full slap, and then we were on the floor. We were on the concrete. Police arrested and charged 54-year-old Terry A. Hill of McHenry with battery and disorderly conduct, both misdemeanors. Waters says she intends to testify against her in court. I'm a white person, and I feel that it's my responsibility to go and collect other white people who are running around being atrocious and if you want to say white power and you're in my presence like it's not stopping there we reached out to the woman who was arrested here for her side of the story today we did not hear back a lot of people questioning why home depot employees didn't get involved we reached out to home depot today they directed us to law enforcement i'm live at home tonight megan dwyer wgn news